Good afternoon, I'm Christopher Baldwin, my partner is Angela Marinich. Today we're going to be talking about heat exchanger designs for the MSU High Performance Computing Center. The basic idea was to develop a MATLAB code that could be used to optimize the design of the heat exchanger to cool the computers using water from the MSU water distribution facility. There are several important things to take into consideration. Number one, the water used must not be contaminated in any way. Also, the water must not be overheated before it gets sent to campus. The limited space for the heat exchanger must be used efficiently so that proper cooling is obtained. Off-the-shelf components should be used wherever possible to reduce manufacturing costs, and the NTU effectiveness method should be used to evaluate the best design. There are three main design parameters, including exchanger material, working fluid, and cleaning aspects. Our exchanger material was copper because it's very conductive resistant to corrosion, and very durable. Our hot working fluid was distilled water because it was a very high specific heat, less corrosion than many other coolants, a low fouling factor, and it's not sensitive to any of the temperatures that are seen in the system. Cleaning aspects were also considered when picking the fluids because the shell side can be cleaned chemically, while and the tube side can only be cleaned mechanically because the tube side interacts directly with the drinking water, and any chemicals could leave a residue leading to contamination. While the shell side can be cleaned chemically because there is no direct interface with the drinking water. A MATLAB script was developed to create a mathematical model of a shell and tube heat exchanger. First, the mass flow rate of each stream was determined using the 1 megawatt cooling requirement and inlet and outlet temperatures. The optimal geometry parameters were found using iterative MATLAB for loops, and the parameters with maximum efficiency and minimum pressure drop in both streams were chosen for the design. The effectiveness was found by using the effectiveness NTU method, where NTU is the number of transfer units. A one-shell, one-path heat exchanger was designed with the following parameters. The tube length was chosen to be 20 feet, since the longest tube length possible yielded greatest effectiveness, although it did increase the tube side pressure drop. One and a quarter inch NPS tubing was chosen since it met the tube pressure drop requirement. The shell size chosen was NPS 14 with an inner shell diameter of 13 inches, and the extra heavy schedule was chosen for durability reasons. The number of tubes in this design is 33, with 39 baffles spaced at 6 inches apart. The baffle spacing was determined using the specification that baffles should be spaced at 40-60% to 60 of the shell diameter. The effectiveness of this heat exchanger is 0.52, and the pressure drop for each stream stayed below 1 atmosphere. A possible supplier identified is the German heat exchanger supplier, Funke. Their heat exchangers are designed for large industrial applications with the heat transfer performance up to 30 megawatts. They have many standard designs and they also do custom orders. 